Hello everybody and thank you for joining us today for the fourth in our Colour Astrology series for August, Embracing the Colour Palette of Sun Orange. So we're focusing on corporate design today and I'm going to be creating a grouped contemporary arrangement. We're going to be including some fantastic tropical flowers. So I've got a designer bowl here which I've secured a little piece of biodegradable wet foam with some 12 millimetre anchor tape. So from my floristry box I've got the 12 millimetre anchor tape and my scissors. Then for my fresh products I'm using some orange LA Lily, some Alstroemeria Dancing Queen, my two exotics are going to be Lucasperm and Tango and some fantastic Strelitzia or Bird of Paradise. Then I've got some Hypericum, red Hypericum. That acts as kind of like a contrast to the rich, warm tones of the orange. And then my foliage, I've got Aspidistra leaves and some funky snake grass. So the kind of upbeat and exotic feel to this arrangement would really create a welcome to any company's reception. So the orange colour palette inspires energy, enthusiasm, and it's actually a creative colour. So it's perfect quality really to inspire both customers and employees alike as they walk through that company's door. So I hope this inspires you to have a go yourselves and enjoy.
So I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of the corporate arrangement. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself. As always, I have some top tips for you. So top tip number one, with the Strelitzia, you can gently encourage more flowers from the bract. I'll show you what I mean. Gently insert your two thumbs into the bract underneath where the new bloom is and then gently tease that new bloom out. There we go. Just have to be a little bit patient and a little bit kind. <laughs> there we go. And there, I won't force it anymore because it's actually not particularly ready to come out yet. You normally have to wait for the original bloom to die off. But there, you can see, you've actually got another bloom coming there. All right, so that's top tip number one. Top tip number two, don't place the arrangement anywhere near a radiator or in direct sunlight. And top tip number three, make sure that you have enough space in the container to fill up with water every day. So make sure there's a little water hole. All right. So next up in our Colour Astrology series for August, we'll be focusing on simple vase design. We're actually going to be creating a really opulent, um, loose vase arrangement using an urn as the container. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to like us, share us with your friends, and visit our YouTube channel for lots more tips, hints, and inspirational ideas. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Thanks for watching. We look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.